In today's episode, how do you do it? Welcome to today. It's Monday here in Stockholm and the weather is, well, it's just boring. I mean, something has to happen. It has to get colder, I think. Snowier. Christmasier. Because it's just grey and cold and sort of, well, not even cold. It's just wet. Anyway, today... In the evening, I'm going home to Ulf. We're going to watch a new series, a Swedish series about, I think, interesting architecture. Interesting Swedish architecture, I think. I'm not sure. So, and Ulf asked, I said, I can bring food. And he said, bring some lentil soup. So, I'm making soup. This is on pour so far. And I'm also sort of soaking the lentils because... If, I think, if you soak the lentils, they grow up and be more... They grow up. They turn more plump when you sort of cook them. So that's what's happening so far. This is my vegan lunch. That sort of spamako... Spamako pita. Spamako pita. Spamako pita. Oh, God, it's Greek. They seem to not have the same melodies we have. Spamako pita. Spamako... Spamako pita. I think. Do you know Greek? Okay, people, so here is my lentil soup. It got green lentil, red lentil, and beluga lentils. And that white stuff is vegan cream. I've got some left. This is sort of a leftover dish. Uh, the, the last I had of some potatoes. The last I had of some small onions. The last I had of garlic. So I need to go to the shop before going to Ulf to buy um, stuff, but it looks good. It tastes even better. But this lentil soup is so good. I can't even remember what I've had in it, but I know that I have some sambal olek. I had some uh, harissa because I need to finish that thing. And I also had some of these, this Korean spice, goes guchugaru and salt. Oh, what else? can't remember. So, you're welcome. Anyway, I need to bring this soup to Ulf. How? Hmm, do I have any big... <gasps> Wait, I might. So, I got this glass thing that I bought at Ikea and I never use. These are sort of kept way, way back because when I cook, I tend to use this. This is the mother load. Yes, takeaway containers. They're really great because they weigh nothing. While this sort of weighs a lot. And you know, I tell you almost everything and I realize I forgot to tell you something. This arrived. The new issue of Vigo magazine arrived Friday. So three days ago and I haven't told you. It's all about Christmas. So, um, well, not all about Christmas. Wait, I'll show you. Okay, we're just gonna have a quick flick through. There's a new mayo, mayo out, vegan mayo. That's great, because I love vegan mayo. And what else? Astrid and Arpuna. This is a sort of vegan brand that went bankrupt and then re got relaunched again. These are stuff. Look at that, Netflix and chilled. I've got that in my fridge. Yes. Let's see. Oh, there's a vegan pesto. What else? Oh, he's doing something great. So, oh, I'll be doing most of these recipes, I guess. Just talk to my mother. Um, as I talked to my mother and we decided between us that I'm not coming home this Christmas because the situation is getting worse in, in Sweden. Um, so now we're supposed to gather, we were used, we were supposed, to, we were allowed to be 50, now we're allowed to be 8, uh, and um, so I said I st I'll stay in Stockholm and they can sort of celebrate and, um, well, we'll Skype and do stuff like that. Look at that, 
Look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Fantastic. So this is a, well, for you to speak Swedish, for those, the other, the other ones, you should get, well, some other sort of cooking magazine. But I think this is really interesting. You buy one of those and you cook everything in it. Or you can buy whatever you want and cook everything in it. It's a great way to get a varied diet, which is the reason I started with it, because I was eating the same stuff all the time. And it's also good because you learn a lot and you sort of, it's like, you know, when there's like monkeys in a cage and you, you throw them stuff that sort of invigorate them, sort of puzzles and stuff. This is just that thing. It, it's, I'm, the, I'm a monkey in a cage and this is my new toy. I've been doing this for about three years and it's really, really interesting and really good. And I think it's, to me, it really brings value uh, to my life, cooking stuff. I'm about to do this, I think. This is sort of the easiest um, recipes. This is the menu of the week. Oh, looking good. Looking good, much soup. So, you're welcome. People, it's time to go out into the world. Out in. And this does not say grease, it says greasy. Yeah, wait. You see? Greasy. There's a new surge in Corona. People are quite good. There's not many people here and they are quite good at keeping their distance. That was not the case a couple of weeks ago. But then again, everyone looks kind of scared. show you how nice that still looks someone is really keeping check on this yes. Hello. you wanted to say something I cleaned the garden he cleaned his garden balcony garden it's tidied up he vacuumed he threw away a bunch of yes and the bike is here and all those these yes 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 and then later on he's going to put something in between here so that the sort of cold air can't get in. And then we can sit here in the winter time. Like it? Mm, very much. Swedish news. Ulf once again said he loved the food. He, he repeated it. Yes. So Dash and Lily Episode three. So fourth episode of Lily and Dash. Uh, Grey and vegan ice cream. This is red berries and biscuits and toffee sauce. Vegan. Well done. We've seen a fantastic actress in this show. Grand Design Sweden. Wow. So this is the house that were built and we are not amused. It's kind of boring, really. So now we're watching a Swedish program where they sort of, well, the famous people get um, makeovers of their houses and stuff what well, they have to do it themselves well, thank you for excellent ice cream excellent television but now i am going home do you want to thank me for excellent lentil soup so i want to say goodbye and see you in a couple of days maybe or something we're not sure i want you to do
that. Any, any last words before I go? Anything about the great soup or something? God. And the soup was great. Well, just the stew. The stew was fantastic. I'm just waiting for the goddamn elevator to arrive. Let's go. So, arrivederci. So. So here's a little lesson in Swedish for Carmen and Ariel and for all of you artists who don't speak Swedish. This is exit in Swedish. This is where the cars come out. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.